one actually guys, no joke. What's up guys, Joe here with Chat Cats Fishing. Welcome to today's episode. I'm on the Tennessee River, Nick and Jack Lake. I have cut bluegill on each of these rods. I have four rods out. This one, this far left one isn't out. Uh, but where I'm fishing is a deep hole. Uh, we're anchored on the current seam. Floodgates are spilling below Chickamauga Dam. And this is one of my favorite spots the fish and high current it's an overcast day uh, we have a storm moving in later today a lot of rain uh, so I figured this would be a good day to kind of oh here we go yep see oh like you let go of that this one has a demon dragon on it But yeah, I figured today would be a good day to get out before all this rain and storm is moving the area. Like I said, it's overcast. There's a little bit of sun behind the clouds, but this is a this is a good day. Oh, see if he takes it. Small little guy. Well, yeah, guys, we're gonna see what happens. Um, I may go down river and see what's going on, uh, but I don't have a lot of time to fish today because I know, like I said, that rain's gonna be coming in. So. I mean, it's going to be pretty bad as, as far as what they were saying. A lot of wind, and so I'm hoping that barometric pressure is, is dropping. Usually that gets the catfish active right before a big system moves in. So we'll see. Stay tuned. It's a big one. This is the one that just kept getting picked at.
staying bent pretty good. Makes me wonder if it's a flathead. We don't need to net this fish. We'll just we'll just get them with my hand. Flatheads are pretty good about not rolling and you know doing that death roll like the blues do. I'll get my gloves. Hey, he's digging now. Trying to make my back hurt a little bit with all this current. Yeah, I'd probably say 20, 20 pounds, something like that. at 25. Oh no. It's a little bigger than I thought. This is why I like the Demon Dragons. That rattle helps in that current. And I tend to catch most of my flatheads on Demon Dragons. Look at that fish, y'all. That's a nice flathead. Nice flathead. See if I can get a another shot of them here. Well, there we go. All right, guys, we're going to send this fish back to the depths. Back to the depths. Oh, that was an awesome fight, especially right near the boat. I mean, it did not feel big at first at all. That was cool.
Oh yeah. Fish on. Didn't even get my uh, fourth rod out. Small one. It's pretty fast over here. That's what makes this spot pretty good. All right, let me get this one casted out real quick, and then we'll get the blue on top. Look at that big bluegill head. Little guy. Big chunks of uh, bluegill. I'm telling y'all it works. Recast this one. But a lot of people swear that skipjack is the best bait. I don't think there's really such thing as a best bait for catfish. I think you just gotta use what's uh, available in your river. I mean, skipjack is a good bait, don't get me wrong. I use a lot of skipjack, but in the colder months, bluegill is my go-to. Well, the rain stopped, so I decided to come down a little further. Now, this spot here has like a creek mouth, and it's very shallow at the mouth. But right now I'm anchored in like 15 feet, but over where the mouth is, it's like five to six feet. So it's, it's somewhat deep right here and then it gets shallow. So I got some baits fanned out on the shallow area and then also some in the, in the 15 feet area. And I'm marking a lot of fish now. I don't know if it's catfish, it could be carp, gar, I don't know. But it's uh, definitely worth a shot to fish. You got a lot of structure, like you got the floating docks down there. Uh, there's a pipe coming into the water. So, I mean, you would think, right? There should be a catfish or two around. And I've caught catfish here before. So, we'll see. I figure we get something here. It's 
small guy. bit of weight to him. He's just moving a lot down there in that shallow water. pounds or something. doubled up I think I don't think it's big but he's gonna have to sit tight until I get this fish in oh man we may have a triple now y'all we're getting so much action now Jeez. Right, he may go 20 pounds, guys. I don't know. We'll check here in a second. Let's get this one now. This one's pretty small. He ain't big. So I probably got one that's like 20 pounds in the boat. And then this one went down. Now we are getting action on these two rods as well. I had a feeling this would be a good spot in all this high current. Considering you got all the structure you got that creek mouth over here. Please be a flathead. That's a blue, but it's a nice one. Oh, really solid fish. Man, he's going upstream. Oh, that's a solid fish. Yeah, this guy here may go 20. 
this one's probably 15 but yeah this rod right here keeps getting pecked at oh that's awesome nice double what a double 21 pounds for this one 16 that's not bad y'all all right, we're going to go and send this 16-pounder back. There she goes. All right, and here's the... Sorry, I was just looking at that rod. Here's a 21-pounder. We're going to release it. Oh, that was quick. All right, guys. Well, nothing in this spot, which is okay. Um, I had a pretty good day, considering I was only out for um, three and a half hours for four catfish. So that flathead really made my day first fish of the morning but I got some pretty bad weather moving in um, it's actually just now up river from me but I'm gonna have to drive through it so it's just it is what it is um, but I appreciate you guys watching uh, I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next episode as always give a thumbs up and we'll see you later